Okay, so one of the last uh, tools I have to show you guys is this thing called the uh, Wire Bundler. So if I check out my scripts, I've already downloaded this. Again, this is more your typical standalone Mel script. It's a very simple script. You load it into your script window. It's, this one's called FB Wire Jumbler. So I'll copy this guy. Again, same as before, go to your semicolon Mel script window. I'm going to make sure I'm in the Mel tab, not the Python tab. Paste the name of that script in. Hit play. It'll launch. And I can hit the little pop-up and say close that. If I want to save it as well, I'll just simply go save script to shelf, right? Call it wires. It's okay. All right. So uh, the way this works, um, you, you, I think it's any polygon object. They typically kind of recommend a sphere. But uh, let's just go edit uh, duplicate special. I'll leave it there. Apply, duplicate special. So what this does, now you have to kind of grab these in order, but I'll go um, one. So I'll do one by one. It's, it's very specific. And if I hit apply, it'll actually create a batch of wires to connect all this stuff, right? So it's really, really cool for sort of sci-fi scenes or mechanical industrial environments. Uh, what I often will do, let's say um, you've got um, something in the ceiling that cuffs them together, or connects them together. What I'll typically do is grab every other uh, sphere and sort of scale it down. So maybe I'll, yeah, I can leave that one there. So I'll grab every other sphere, uh, scale it down. Uh, this is actually based on the manipulator, I think. So uh, if I double click on the scale tool over here, I'll have to switch from uh, this to default. So it should kind of uh, scale them on their own axis. So I'll scale this down a little bit and then move these up a little bit. Again, I'll go one by one, selecting. And what's great about this is that you can ha increase or decrease the quantity of wires. Um, you can randomize um, the size. So there's wire diameter, so you can make them thicker, thinner. We can vary the diameter by, uh, let's do 0.2, and I'll make these like 0.5 thickness. So they'll go from uh, 0.3 to 0.7, right? Let's make sure that's entered. Geometry, you can set it to polys as an output, and you can increase or decrease uh, segments and quality as well. So um, what I usually do, because what it does is it kind of creates a bunch of like nerves curves and a bunch of these uh, extra nodes and stuff. So you can have it just clean everything up for you once it's created. So I'll go delete both, make wires. Now they're a little, uh, looks like they're inverted and they're a little too thick, right? So. It's probably because the scale of my scene isn't isn't up to par here. So I'll make this a little bit smaller again. 0 0.3 with a variation of 0 0.1. Just so we have a little bit of variation there. And then uh, apply there. Now in this case, it does look like the normals are flipping. So I can grab these and just simply go to modeling, mesh display, reverse. And there you go. You've got your batch of wires, right? Uh, we can delete those spheres or hide them after if, if you wish. All right. So they don't have to droop like that, but oftentimes it's kind of cool if they do. <laughs> um, so you can kind of have like, uh, again, something that kind of connects them together. So let's say I just take one of these guys, uh, rotate it about 90 degrees, and let me change the uh, diameter, I guess, of this thing, or radius thickness. 0.2, radius 1.25. Oh, actually, bring the radius back down. There we go. So let's take this in object mode. Let's place it up here. And then I'll go edit, duplicate special again. I'm going to double the, the, the amount of movements in this and then cut this in half, I guess. So about four or five should do. All right? So you get that kind of stuff happening. It looks cool, right? It works. And it's a great way to add extra uh, decoration to your scene. This is really great for industrial sci-fi, uh, you know, factories and stuff like that. It works really, really great. All right.